Okay guys, welcome back to our little uh, web view tutorial series. This is our last video and this is going to more than likely be a little bit long because with this is the JavaScript web view tutorial. So essentially we're going to get rid of our uh, cl uh, client, well, no, we don't need that anymore. And what we're going to do is we're going to make our web view able to communicate with our activity through JavaScript. The advantage of this is you can have, let's say, a button someone clicks on in the app. It will then, on from the JavaScript, load up something in the activity. So in order to do this, the very first thing we need to do is webview.set Ah, we need web settings. <laughs> equals web view Don't get settings god damn it okay so now we've got our settings and we need to just say settings dot set JavaScript enabled true. So this has now enabled JavaScript in our web view to be activated, otherwise it won't work at all. Now, see what it says here, suppress lint set JavaScript enabled. Essentially having JavaScript enabled can be a security liability. Since we're loading HTML from our app and it's not loading it from the internet itself, we can trust it, but you know, we may never know. Uh, anyway, just make sure you're aware of the security risks. So we've set that to true. I've removed that uh, YouTube link. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to create a private, or not private, a public class in here, okay? So essentially how the JavaScript enabling works is we bind or we create a class with the methods we want and we mark them as Java interface methods or JavaScript interface methods. And then we bind the class containing our methods to our web view. And then the JavaScript can, can access those methods through a JavaScript object. So essentially we're taking an, we're making an object, we're binding the methods together. It's a little bit hard to explain, but I'll show you how it works. So first thing we need to do is create create a public class and we're gonna call it a web view web view interface. Okay. And we have to well we're gonna set up a context in here, but we don't need it because we don't really need that at the moment. So the, what we're going to do is we're going to create a public method void and we're going to just say show toast. Okay, and we're going to say uh, toast dot make text context JavaScript web Web, web interface toast dot length long dot show very simple now we need to mark this as a JavaScript interface so what we can do here is in order to mark this as a JavaScript interface we say at Java script interface Okay, so that's now mark this as a JavaScript interface. Okay, so we've done that. Now what we need to do is we need to bind this object to the JavaScript inside the app itself. So what we're gonna do up here, we're gonna say web view dot add JavaScript interface. Now the object is a new JavaScript or web view interface object, which we've 
named. So that's the object. And the name is its alias in the JavaScript. So this can be anything. So we're gonna say this uh, main main activity interface. So what this will do is this will in the JavaScript in the web view main activity interface dot show toast will I'll call this method in our Java code. This is a little bit confusing. In order to show this, I'm actually going to get rid of the majority of the stuff in here, okay? And all we're going to do is we're going to create a button. A button in our HTML. And we're going to say on click equals. And what we're going to do is we're going to say show, we're going to call it show Android toast. If I can spell, I would be amazing at this. Show Android toast. That's it. Okay. And the button is called show toast. Now that we've done that, we need to add our script. So our script will be script. And we're very simply going to say uh, type. I have to add a script type. Is text. Technically, you don't need that, but just in case. And then we're going to make our function. So it's our JavaScript function called show in fact I'll copy this just to doubly make sure show Android toast. So this is our JavaScript function now ready to go. And now remember that now we have to call our alias for the object. So our alias is main activity interface dot show toast now what's going to happen is here we're going to tap this button and the button will do will call this piece of javascript and this piece of javascript will then go main activity interface is actually this object down here that we pass to it it'll call this method which will execute this code if all goes well and we have set our JavaScript enabled. We've added our interface to our web view and we have uh, everything ready to go. So if we press run, we should see a button come up on screen, just a plain, normal HTML button with no style. It's got no style. Now see that I took a bit of time to load, I think. Ooh, bollocks. What the hell happened there? Oh, a little bit strange. I think it might have had trouble parsing that JavaScript. No, the emulator has just pooped itself. Right, we're back when this emulator is back running. Okay, so uh, I've loaded up on the Nexus 7 emulator. For some reason, the S4 emulator is just going bananas. But anyway, our button is here. So if we click it, JavaScript web interface called. That is quite possibly in my opinion the coolest thing you can do with this you can actually link your javascript code and html to this and then have it just execute uh, java code here it's it's a crazy thing you can do and it's amazing now i'm going to put up all this uh, code up on my github as usual but i hope you guys learned something about this this is how uh, facebook actually worked for a long time before the Facebook app went, uh, I think it was last year, uh, late last year it went and Android native. They had it was all HTML based, and that's why the Facebook app was so terrible, and also why the Facebook app is still currently terrible. Um, but anyway, guys, this is just how you, this is how it's uh, done, how JavaScript interfacing works. It's really cool. But as always, guys, it's been good talk. 
En dat is die is laser.